has a tension, has a, has a restriction, and, and pain in the medial collateral portion of the, of, the, of the cord. So I'm putting him in the hip flexor stretch position. So what I'm doing is to isolate it. So we should bend forward. So he doesn't feel pain in this position, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. releases. But as he leans back, he feels the pain. Right? So bearing in mind that his knee is already in an extension. So I already eliminated the a few of the quads in terms of uh, the vestus lateralis, the 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 vestus intermedius and the VMO. Because all these do not really attach to the do not attach to the ASIS joint. But when he does that movement, do that movement again, see the pain goes away. It comes up, the pain comes back in. Yeah. So there are two muscles now which are really involved. One is the hip flexor, which can be the electus and the psoas, as well as the, as the, as the rectus femoris. So now what I'm going to do is to do ART to release the rectus femoris in this position. Okay. So you're going to be bent forward. Okay. You feel it. Feel the restriction. Okay. You lean back a bit. Okay, okay, bend forward. Okay, so in this position. Okay, go. Lean forward. Oh. Feel that? Oh. Feel that? Oh, right yeah. there. Pulls all the way down. Yeah, pulls all the way down, right? Mm. Hold that. Okay, come back in again. Down. Okay, go. Push your hips forward. Good. Come back in again. Go. I'm doing a proximal oh, uh, tension on the rectus of ours. Back up. Not easy. Back up again. Go. Okay, forward again. Go. Okay, put your hand away. I'm going to do mm -hmm. on the hip flexor. Do have the stove? Yeah, right. In this position. Okay, go forward again. Go forward again. Go. Okay, how do you feel now? Yeah, that was okay. Now you feel? Now you try? Feel better? It's much better. Yeah. Much better. So I basically just uh, modified this technique a little bit just to do the assessment as well as the treatment at the same time. Thank you.